Good morning, Ron Barniak. This is George back in uh, summertime apparel. We have a, Ju a July update newsletter. We've got a few drinks to make today. We're going to make the announcement about the Reds, Whites, and Brews uh, event at the Round Barn. And also the big uh, extravaganza, the fireworks extravaganza. At the beer at the public house. Now we got a couple things going on here in the Perry, and a couple things inside. We're gonna take you outside for a little marshmallow treat for the barbecue. Now, first we're gonna make that we made the Bellini last week or last month for the uh, with peaches. Now we're gonna use some blueberries, and we get our round bar wine glass. Put some blueberries, and you whip out your old muddler. All right. Whip out the old muddler and muddle that up. Mow me at that man. And then we're gonna add a little blueberry, a little blueberry one, brown brown blueberry, farm market blueberry. Now sparkle it up with some blanc de noir. You can use either of our sparkling wines. Pretty. And garnish. Wunderbar. Alright. Next we got this new sensation. Wait to see this. You won't believe it. Well, first we're going to do this ran, ritzy raspberry. Ritzy raspberry. Uh, get your muddler back out again. And the glass. Raspberries, fresh Michigan raspberries. And mint off the back porch. And we're going to muddle four mint leaves, four mint leaves, with about ten Michigan raspberries. Now we're going to muddle that all up. Now, all right, that's that. Now we're going to add vodka, of course. About two ounces of beer. We're going to add a little. We're uh, that's good. Ooh. And then put some ice in there. Ice in there. And then we're going to add some lime, lemon lime, your favorite lemon lime soda, after two ounces of lime juice. I'm sorry. Ounce and one teaspoon. Ounce and a half. One and a half teaspoons. I'll get it out. And then sparkle it up with some lemon lime soda. Garnish and enjoy. Richie Raspberry from the Round Barn Winery in Union Beer. Now, this next one. Next is a new thing. A new thing. We, we experimented hot. High atop Mount Union Pier in our research. And development laboratory. Oh, by the way, the names that the people are sending in that they're, they're going to committee, and we're going to we're going to pick some, and we're going to make some drinks with them. So keep them coming. So you know that it's just not a bunch of we're not blowing smoke. We're doing real things here. All right, so get your redneck wine glass, redneck beverage glass today, and then we're going to add some vodka. We're going to put some ice in there. Let's put some ice. Pretty good. Ice. It is summertime, it's July, 4th of July. It's going to be hot. Glass all going to be all sweaty on the back porch. Add it. The vodka. Because you got the measurements right in the glass. Now, just, we're going to kind of put on there a little Bloody Mary mix. Your favorite Bloody Mary mix. I have special special mix that I have. Alright. So it's not going to be your ordinary Bloody Mary. And then what are we going to do, George? We're going to add some oak-aged IPA. Yes, you're thinking, has he gone off the board here? Well, he kind of has. All right, so we're going to stir it up. We're going to stir things up. So now you got vodka, your favorite spicy Bloody Mary, and you got the oak-aged wooden 
um, IPA from Round Barn Brewery and vodka. So, you can enjoy this one, try this one. And this baby's called Hell Yeah! Hell Yeah! Well, I'll tell you what, you're going to go out to porch. Hell Yeah! Got me taste it now. Put your breakfast foods in there. Enjoy a ritzy raspberry, blueberry mojito, or uh, blueberry bohini. The mojito is also on the website. And our hell yeah drink. Look how pretty it is. All right, we're going to adjourn for a moment. We're going to take you out to the back porch. All right, we're on the back porch here at the Round Barn Winery in Union Pier. Startling revelation here at our, more, our portable research uh, experience out here on the back porch. We got the grill going, and we want you to see, of course, you're very familiar with the, the black walnut cream. Black walnut cream. Now, we're gonna, we got these little toasted marshmallow cups we're gonna, we're gonna make. We got these little red, white, and blue marshmallow, 4th of July stuff. So we're trying to do this right here. Watch me, watch me flop. Now here we go. We're gonna try and toast it. And they really ignite fast. You gotta be careful. You know how it works with the marshmallows. Alright. You get that? Oh, if we got flame on. Flame on. There you go. And then I'll show you what else we can do. See, there it goes. It's toasted. You can toast them. You can burn them. However you wanna do it. This one is just about right. Okay, so that's nice and crisp. All right, so we got it crisp. Now we're gonna take it. We can probably even leave it on the skewer if you want to. Take it off, kind of gently, because it's gonna be kind of on a mushy side. Okay, take care of that. Now, what you do is you take one of these, let it cool off a little bit, and you punch a hole in it. Punch a hole, we use a, a cork a cork from a wine bottle. So you got a pretty little cup here. Pretty little cup, and then you add the walnut cream. Walnut cream. And then you just enjoy it. Walnut cream in there. Some in there, some in there. Just the one we just cooked. Some in there. Oops! <laughs> Oops! Gotta lick the spoon. All right, nice little cups. Happy Fourth of July. So you got the marshmallows cooked, and you're gonna kind of enjoy them while you slap some bratwurst that have been soaked in Bob's your uncle and the divine bourbon. Go off some nice charcoal flavor. You know, you know the smokiness. Brats, stadium brats. Bob's your uncle, and Round Barn, the divine bourbon. All right, have a great 4th of July, guys. Enjoy it. Keep safe. See you next month.